Hey guys, good morning, how's it going? Quite a sight here. Looking out over Kathmandu and the Himalaya Mountains, off in the uh, distance out there, you can see some of the little foothills that surround the Kathmandu Valley here. A beautiful sunrise going on. Mount Everest is uh, off in the distance out there. You can't see it from Kathmandu, but the uh, high peaks of the Himalayas, including many of the tallest mountains in the world, are right out there, if you could see them. And so best case scenario for today would be that from the plane, you will be able to see the Himalaya Mountains. I uh, got the uh, lucky chance to fly over the Himalayas of India once when I was flying back from Ladakh, and it was an absolutely incredible, spectacular sight. But as you can see, it is mostly cloudy at the moment, and so uh, I'm definitely not uh, counting on it. We will see, but anyways, a uh, amazing view here of Kathmandu stretching in all directions. And so I uh, need to head down and grab my backpack and hit the road as it were, go find a taxi, get a ride to the airport, and then uh, my flight takes off in a couple of hours. I am flying through Istanbul, Turkey, which I've been to before. Um, Istanbul is a beautiful, uh, really interesting city. Unfortunately, there was just a terrorist attack uh, there, uh, so I've heard. Um, so that's really tragic. I don't think that it will be affecting my flight at all, but uh, a uh, real shame. Oh my god. I don't think I caught that. Uh, that was the most incredible lightning I have like ever seen. It was just massive all through the sky there. Uh, so, wild. All right, um, so I have a layover in Istanbul and then uh, another flight to, now I can hear the thunder from that lightning, to Athens, Greece. So it is going to be an intense travel day. I arrive in Athens at uh, 8 or 9 p.m. tonight, but that is Athens time, which means that's like 1 or 2 in the morning or something here. So long day ahead, time to get going. And so I just walked a uh, block down the alley from my uh, uh, friend Francesca's apartment there. Um, this is where taxis hang out. It's early morning, so there aren't uh, many here. But this guy's here, and uh, he's going to take me to the airport for 500 rupees, which is $5. As soon as he's done washing his car. And there's a long line here. I don't know if I have to uh, stand in or not, but anyway, I have a couple of hours, so should be good on time. All right, through customs uh, and security and everything, ready to uh, take a seat and hop on this flight. That's the plane, Turkish Airlines. There's Kathmandu, <laughs> India, <laughs> flying to Istanbul, and then from Istanbul, Greece, Athens, oh yeah, Greek islands.
see the Himalayas, I forgot to uh, ask for a seat on the right side of the plane. But they let me go through this little tiny window here. And so that's how I'm finally getting the uh, glimpse of the Himalayas. to Istanbul. It's a beautiful sunny day out there. I now have a uh, layover here of about six hours I think. I'm not even sure of the time at the moment because there was a time change from Nepal. It's obviously uh, middle of the day, 12 or 1 or something, and then my flight isn't until 6 or 7 this evening so I'll have to get through security or whatever up here, find my uh, gate, and then I got some time to kill. It would be tempting to try to go into Istanbul, um, but I definitely won't do that. First, because six hours isn't all that much time, considering that the airport is a long ways from the center of the city. Second, because of that uh, terrorist attack. I don't know what's going on um, in Istanbul. I mean, things are obviously normal here, but anyways, just going to uh, stay here, take it easy, um, work on the computer or whatever, and kill some time. So it's a little past two in the afternoon, so I have a good uh, four hours or so before my flight starts boarding. <laughs> Athens, 7.15. No boarding gate yet. That is the Turkish language there. Wait for gate. So that means mosque, mesket, or masjid. I think that must be Turkish on the top, and then masjid is Arabic for mosque. Turkey is, of course, Muslim. So it's 5.15. My boarding gate is 202. Down here somewhere. Managed to uh, kill a few hours there and my flight will be boarding within the next hour and a half or something. <laughs> Looks like this should be it. Nobody else here yet. Going to uh, kick back and work on this here video, um, which I was editing uh, earlier. I think it's going pretty good so far. 
There's one thing though, is that uh, I'm still kicking myself for not getting that um, right side of the plane on that other flight because I would have been watching the Himalayas go by for like hours um, of just seeing those high peaks and everything. And so I uh, really kind of <laughs> dropped the ball on that one because I thought about it this morning. Get on the right side of the plane, I knew that that's where uh, you wanted to be because we would be, you know, flying west. And then I just spaced it when it came time to uh, checking in there, but at least I managed to get those shots of the Himalayas from that you know, little window there, so better than nothing. Folks, that is it. I'm here in Greece, in Athens, and in the European Union, where they use the Euro dollar. Got my bag. That is a relief. Got cash. Now I have to uh, get into the city and get to my hotel. Going to find a help desk um, and get some info. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock, 9.07 it looks like. Just getting dark. And I'm ready to get to my hotel. I have a hotel reserved for three nights uh, tonight at Piraeus, which is the port where the ferries depart to the islands, which is just outside of Athens, so... All right, time to figure out the uh, transportation system here. And here we go, Prima Hotel. I found it. Oh man, what a day. Hello, Prima Hotel? Yes, Gabriel Morris. What? Yeah, Gabriel Morris, re reservation. You have the reservation? Yes, I spoke from the airport. And here we are, pretty uh, nice little room, especially for less than $30. I booked it on agoda.com uh, like last week or something. It was just the cheapest thing that I could find that also sounded pretty decent. Um, it's in a little bit of a funky neighborhood uh, in Piraeus, which is a little ways from the main, uh, you know, downtown area of Athens, the historical center, the Acropolis and all that. So I will take a uh, subway or a bus or whatever to get up there, um, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm here for three nights and uh, have kind of a lot to do. I need to buy a bicycle and a tent and shoot some videos um, and visit my friend Deanna, uh, my ex-girlfriend who uh, lives here in Athens and who I traveled with on the Greek islands uh, for a couple of months back in 2009. And so I'll see about tomorrow if I just uh, have kind of a rest day or 
um, head into the city and do some exploring. Anyways, uh, just a little bit of information. The flight here from Nepal, I booked uh, online you know, a couple of weeks ago. It was $430 for a one-way flight. That one I booked through uh, Skyscanner, which is a great website. And then also just thought that I would mention as far as entry into Greece, how that works, then obviously it depends on which country you are from. Uh, as far as entering any country around the world, then there are different uh, you know, rules and regulations. Uh, but for an American and for many other citizens of the world, then you are allowed 90 days within the European Union without any kind of a visa or anything. You just show up with your passport and they let you in. It was super uh, simple and smooth. No paperwork even to, to fill out. They just uh, you know, stamp your passport and then you have uh, 90 days within the what is called the Schengen Zone, which is basically the EU, the European Union, but is slightly different as far as which countries are um, involved. But basically that means you have uh, three months in Europe that doesn't include England uh, and I, the United Kingdom, and I forget which other countries. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay here uh, in Greece or in Europe in general. We'll see. Anyways, as maybe you can tell, I'm uh, too tired to talk or hardly think at this point, so I'm going to cut this video here. That was quite a long day. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, videos from Greece coming soon. I'm going to be heading for the uh, islands within the next few days or so very likely heading to Santorini first. Uh, I've been there twice before, it's a really nice island. Um, and, uh, and then from there, head for some uh, other islands, some less touristy spots. So take it easy, happy trails.